Alright, so in this demo we're going to see how to associate a, a list of value component with a parameter for a method. Okay. So the first thing that we have is we have a class with a method which is called do something and what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a data control out of it. Alright, now that we have a data control we can go ahead and build a page. So the basic way that you would build a page is you'll go over here and you say I need a page and on this page you'll take the class from the data control right? and you'll have the method in here, the method has a parameter and a return value and you can just drag it over and create a parameter form for your method which will basically create a text item and a button to invoke the method and then you can put this over here and get the result back. So that would be your basic page. Okay. Now the trick part here is that this is just an input text. You can go in and put in any value you want. Maybe you want to enable people to pick a value from a list of value with values coming from the database for example. So let's see how you would do that. The first step is to create connection to a database to get some values, so I'm just going to create ADF business components from table, it's the regular wizard, and let's suppose that we want to work on employees, okay, so the information is coming from the employees table, we're just creating an entity object and a view object on top of those, um, on top of this table. Then you go into the view object, you double click on it, and if you look at the attribute, let's say we want to return back the first name. So for the first name we're going to define a list of value. Pick it up, list of value, click the plus sign. Where is the list of value coming from? It's actually coming from the employees view. So we pick up this one. What are you returning? I'm returning the first name. Okay. And then over here you define how you're going to display it. So we want to have an input text with list of value. And in there we want to show first name, maybe last name, maybe even salary. All of those are important information that we want people to be able to see when they select the record. Okay, so now you have an attribute that has a list of values associated with it. Now let's go and create the page a little differently than before. Okay, back over here if you refresh now you'll have both the application model and your class. Take the method, drag and drop it over, but this time instead of putting it as a parameter form, use a method. Okay, so let's add it as a button. It will tell you that you need to pass a parameter called name to this method. So I'm actually going to use um, a view scope. Okay, so this is under ADF Manage Bin view scope, and I'm going to put here a variable called p1, and that's the value that is going to get passed to this method. Okay, so how do we populate this value? We want to have an input list of value component on our page that would populate this value. So we put this component over here and if you look at the properties over here there's a place for the label so you can call it our param. Okay. There's the model which is the tricky part and then there's the value. So for the value over here we're basically going to say put it or put the value that we choose here in the view scope p1. Okay. So when you set a value for this field, okay, it's going to be placed into this scope, into this variable. Then if you actually look at the binding of the method, here's your method binding, and you can see over here it has a parameter, and the value for the parameter is the same value that you put for the field, so p1. So now the trick part, how do you get a model over here? Um, so you can call the backing bin with a model and stuff like that. I'm going to take the easy route, which is to take the employees view, bring it, uh, not the whole employees view actually, just the first name field, which is the one that has a list of value associated with it, and when I drag it over, therefore, I can drop it as a list of value. So let's put it as an ADF list of value input. And you'll see it's very similar to this field, okay, but in this case we have a model associated. So this is a nice thing about ADF, it went over and created the whole 
list of value model for me. So I can copy this, access this field, and just associate the same list of value model with this field. Now I can actually go to this field and I can, I don't want to delete it because if I delete it I'll actually delete the binding and I don't want the binding to go away. So I'm just going to um, put this in a remark like this. Okay, so it won't actually show up on my screen. Now it's a cleaner screen. And what I also want to show on my screen of course is the result of the method. So let's take the result, put it over here as an output text. Okay, of course you can change the order of the component on your page. So for example, put it in this order. Save everything and run the page. Right, so now I can either put in a value like this, click and get this value, or I can go ahead and select something from a list of values. So let's go ahead and search and see which employees are actually in my database. Yeah, I can search by any one of the criteria, so let's do all the employees whose last name begin with M. Okay, so I got all of those guys. Um, let's take um, Samuel McCain, okay, and choose OK. And when I click OK, I get Samuel in the value over here, and when I invoke the method, I get the return based on the parameter. So this is a very simple way to do a list of value, and by the way, you can do an advanced search here. So for example, search for salary that are less than 8,000, search, find out all the employees with this salary, select Louis, click OK, so Louis, and invoke the method and get the result.